Hello, my name is Phil Walker. I'm a scripture memory missionary here in Indonesia and memorizing the truth. The truth, lessons one through six. The truth, lesson one. Is there a God? God is evident in creation. Creation's beauty, complexity, and order declare the existence of God. Psalm 19, verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Psalm 19, verse 1. Isaiah 40, verse 26. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name. Because of His great strength, and by his great might, and because he is strong in power, not one of them is missing. Isaiah 40, verse 26. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so that men are without excuse, so that they are without excuse. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. The truth, lesson 2. Is there a God? God is revealed through Scripture. Scripture reveals God's specific character, His ways and purposes. Psalm 19, verse 7 through 9. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple the the precepts of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commands of the lord are pure enlightening the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the rules of the lord are true and altogether righteous psalm 19 7 through 9 the truth, lesson three, is there a God? God is active in the world. God actively preserves and guides all creation according to his good purposes. Psalm 135, verse six, whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. Psalm 135, verse six. First Timothy, excuse me, Proverbs 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Proverbs 15, verse 3. Um, Psalms, Proverbs, Lord, 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 Acts. Help me on lesson 3. What's the last one after Proverbs? Philippians, Philippians, one of my favorite. How could I forget? I'm getting old. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. The truth, lesson 4. Is there a God? Uh, God is accessible through Jesus Christ. Access to the true God is only possible through his son jesus christ okay what do we got here uh john 14 6 jesus replied i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me john 14 6 first timothy 2 5 for there is one god and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 uh, 1 John 5 verse 20 For we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true and we are in Him who is true in His Son Jesus Christ. He is the true God in eternal life. 1 John chapter 5 verse 20 The truth Lesson five, who is Jesus Christ? Jesus is the son who saves. Jesus Christ is the son of God who came to save the lost.
Oh my, oh my, oh my. What's the... Oh yeah. Matthew. Matthew chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Matthew chapter 15, 15 and 16. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19, verse 10. And finally, John 20, verse 31. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. First John, uh, excuse me, uh, John chapter 20, verse 31. The truth, lesson six. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus is the prophet who prays. Is that right? Who prophesies? What's the first saying? Is the prophet who preaches. Jesus is the prophet who preaches. Jesus Christ is the prophet who proclaims the way of salvation. The first verse. I'm drawing blanks here. I should know this. Tell me, Joshua. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. Uh, for I will send you. How's that start? Uh, um, a prophet like me. The Lord will send you a prophet. Babe, how's Deuteronomy 18, 15 start? Deuteronomy 18, 15. How's it start? Deuteronomy 18.15, week 6. The Lord. the Lord himself will send. Sing the beginning. Until I stop you. Deuteronomy 18.15. The, the Lord will raise up for you a prophet like me. The Lord will raise up. Deuteronomy 18.15. The Lord will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you must listen. Deuteronomy 18, verse 15. John 1, 18. No one has ever seen God. The only God who is at the Father's side, he has made him known. John 1, 18. John 7, 16. John 7, 16. Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine. It comes from him who sent me. John 7, 16. Hopefully I'll be sharper next week. 